hi everyone to my Ubuntu tutorial now in this tutorial I will show you one of the most basic stuff uh, which we do with the computer is that browsing files so where is our files are or where uh, we will keep our files now to do so we need a explorer um, uh, in Windows we use uh, Windows Explorer uh, and in Mac we use Finder so if something should be equivalent in Ubuntu 2 now the best option the best place to you can start with this is uh, the places and it will start the Explorer for the Ubuntu now the first thing you uh, the best tip the best place you should go is that where your home folder now when uh, a new user is added or created uh, in uh, Ubuntu uh, they create a directory inside the uh, called the home directory of the user and you can place uh, your all the documents here and you can do anything within this directory but uh, it is it is somewhere it is different from windows in windows you can access other directories just like you access a home directory but it is not in the case of ubuntu because linux have some better security now the first thing i want to let you know about the uh, structure of the uh, you know the whole file system now in ubuntu there is no such thing called my computer and then c drive d drive uh, just like in windows there is one concept of the forward from slash which is called the root so we press enter the location bar and we will go in the root and inside the root you will get several directories this much so this root generally describes uh, your main hard disk uh, in the all hard disks you can't use any partitions type of thing if you're having a 360 GB hard disk this root will represent your 360 GB hard disk or even 40 uh, or you know this root just uh, uh, shows you how much of memory you have allocated and all the directories you will access including your pen drives dvds everything else will be accessed with this root um, under this we will be first going to uh, our home directory say here and with there you will get the user name from this is, this is that is my home folder so if there is another user so you will get another folder and every user will have a folder that is his or her home folder within the home directory now this is a basic uh, structure now what uh, if you mount some pen drive uh, within your uh, what I will say within your system or within your laptop or desktop whatever you have you will get them uh, inside this media and then you can see CD-ROM is there CD-ROM 0 so if you insert your CD-ROM you will get your CD-ROMs inside the media now really uh, being a user you don't have to bother for it so so you just have to it will just open automatically but remember one thing whatever path you know you, uh, you have or you will have that will start with the root so it's not like in windows like c d e f you know there is no such partition and if you're really interested in making such partition obviously you can make a new folder out here by right clicking on the menu and you, you see the this create folder is disabled and there are obviously certain reasons so the best place to get started should be our home folder but remember mm, as a developer or as a system administrator you have to know these places and they per solve so many purposes for yourself same for your temporary directory that that being used by you the user have some your user preferences and user data these are kept here so keep exploring uh, when uh, Ubuntu basically what I have shown out here is the basic directory structure of the Ubuntu uh, by the way, thanks for watching. From the next movie, we will take a look at the this uh, uh, navigation bar. What they do actually.